In this video we are going to talk about monthly dividend stocks that will pay your bills. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Investors who purchase monthly dividend stocks have the possibility to generate recurring passive income from their investments. This frequency is more in sync with the time of many recurring invoices, allowing an investor to use dividend income to offset some of their outgoing expenses. Retirement investors and other investors who rely on their portfolios for income may find monthly dividend stocks to be particularly appealing. Agree Realty Due to the fact that they provide recurrent rental income, real estate investment trusts REITs, such as Agree Realty are excellent monthly income stocks to invest in. The company owns freestanding retail properties that are leased on a triple net basis, which means that the tenants are responsible for all of the costs of the property, including insurance, maintenance, and real estate taxes. While Agree Realty is a newcomer to monthly dividend payments, it transitioned from a quarterly to a monthly payment schedule in January 2021, the company has a great dividend track record in the long run in general. This real estate investment trust has boosted its dividend at a compound annual rate of 5% over the past decade. As Agree Realty continues to grow its portfolio, this rising trend is expected to be maintained. It aims to acquire up to $1.4 billion in real estate in 2021, which will increase its rental income and dividend-paying capabilities while decreasing its debt. Agree Realty has a robust balance sheet, which will aid in financing the company's continuing growth. Gladstone Land Gladstone Land is also a real estate investment trust REIT. They specialize in purchasing property and farm-related facilities, which they then lease out to farmers on a triple-net basis in order to generate income for themselves. Because healthy foods such as fruits, vegetables, and nuts are less sensitive to price fluctuation than commodities such as corn, wheat, and soy, the program concentrates on farms that cultivate healthy foods such as fruits, vegetables, and nuts. Gladstone Land has a long history of paying dividends. In the past 26 quarters, the REIT has boosted its dividend 23 times, resulting in an increase of more than 50% in the amount paid out. It intends to increase its monthly dividend at a rate that is greater than the rate of inflation for the foreseeable future. The company's expansion is being fueled by constantly increasing rental income from current farms, which is being increased through annual rent escalations, as well as a constant supply of new farm acquisitions. For roughly $80 million in the second quarter of 2021, Gladstone purchased 13 farms as well as more than 20,000 acre-feet of banked water in the area. These investments helped the company grow its agricultural portfolio, while also lowering the risk of drought-related losses on certain of its farms. EPR Properties EPR Properties is yet another REIT to consider. In particular, it focuses on owning experiential real estate such as movie theaters, eat-and-play establishments, ski resorts, and gaming facilities. It secures these sites by entering into triple-net leases with the operators of the entertainment venues. The pandemic of COVID-19 had a profound impact on the experiential real estate industry. Many of these facilities were forced to close their doors or operate at reduced capacity for a period of time. As a result, they were unable to pay their rent, and EPR Properties was obliged to discontinue its monthly dividend payment last year. However, with the widespread availability of vaccines, more people are gaining the courage to participate in activities outside the home once more. Tenants at EPR are catching up on their rent payments as a result of this. It was able to do so in order to reinstate the REIT's monthly dividend in July 2021. Even though ERP Properties currently delivers a competitive return, the REIT may be able to improve that payment in the future as it expands its portfolio of properties. It had more than $500 million in cash at the beginning of 2021 and a $1 billion credit facility that had not been drawn down, allowing it to go shopping for additional experiential real estate. Pembina Pipeline Pembina Pipeline is a Canadian energy infrastructure firm that specializes in pipeline construction. Pipelines, processing units, storage terminals, and export facilities are all operated by the company. Its primary business is leasing other energy businesses the ability to operate its assets under long-term, fixed-rate lease agreements. 
Pembina is able to generate consistent cash flow as a result of these partnerships. Pembina has a strong dividend history, having increased its distribution year after year over the course of the company's history. Considering that it has completed further energy infrastructure expansion projects, it should be able to keep boosting its dividend in the foreseeable future. It has a large backlog of secured projects, as well as numerous more in the development pipeline, which will allow it to increase dividends in the future. Additionally, Pembina is investing in projects that reduce carbon emissions, in addition to continuing to support fossil fuel transportation. It is collaborating with another Canadian energy infrastructure company on the development of a carbon dioxide transportation and sequestration system to complement its wind energy resources. It is also looking into the possibilities of hydrogen. Realty Income When it comes to monthly dividend stocks, Realty Income is unquestionably the best of the bunch. By late 2021, it will have paid 615 consecutive monthly dividends, earning the company the moniker The Monthly Dividend Company. Realty Income has also boosted its dividend 112 times. Since its initial public offering IPO, in 1994, including each of the company's last 96 quarters in a row. This provides this REIT more than 25 years of consecutive dividend growth, making it a dividend aristocrat in the eyes of the investing community. Realty income should be able to continue supplying investors with a monthly income stream that is continuously increasing in the foreseeable future. It has agreed to purchase sister REIT for right, NYSE VER, in 2021, with the transaction expected to finalize by the end of the year. The transaction will create a $50 billion real estate investment trust behemoth while increasing its cash flow per share by more than 10%. It will also broaden the scope of its portfolio while retaining the financial flexibility to continue to acquire cash flowing properties. Taking Verite out of the equation, Realty Income was on track to purchase $4.5 billion in real estate in 2021. With one of the strongest balance sheets in the industry, it has the financial wherewithal to continue its expansion. SL Green One more REIT to mention is SL Green, which happens to be the largest office landlord in New York City. While the city's office sector has had some difficulties as a result of the pandemic, SL Green has fared reasonably well. This is reflected in the company's rental collection rate and leasing activity, which are both above average. This company collected 94.9% of the office rent it billed in 2020, as well as 94.8% of its overall rent. Meanwhile, during the first six months of 2021, this REIT secured leases covering more than 900,000 square feet at lease rates that were only 1.7% lower than the expiring lease rates on the same area. The occupancy rate remained at a solid 93.6% as a result. This demand demonstrates that businesses anticipate returning to their New York City headquarters in the future. Meanwhile, office buildings continue to be highly sought after by institutional investors due to their ability to provide consistent income streams from tenants. As a result, SL Green was able to sell a number of houses at competitive rates. With that cash, it was able to pay down debt, repurchase stock, and invest in new ventures. In addition, this REIT has been able to maintain an increasing dividend payout rate. It increased its dividend for the 10th time in a row last year, earning the designation of dividend achiever. Stag Industrial Stag Industrial, another REIT that pays a monthly dividend, is another example. Specifically, the company invests in industrial real estate, such as warehouses and light industrial facilities, among other things. Due to the pandemic's acceleration of e-commerce adoption and increased manufacturing in the United States in order to fight supply chain concerns, these types of properties are in great demand today. Over the years, Stag has consistently grown its dividend payout. Its capacity to constantly extend its repertoire has been the primary driver of its expansion. Since its initial public offering IPO, a decade ago, Stag has added more than 400 buildings to its portfolio. The corporation anticipates that its steady expansion will continue, with property purchases totaling $1 billion to $1.2 billion planned for this year. When you combine that with the increasing rental income from Stag's current properties, the company should be able to maintain its monthly dividend increase. What do you think of our video? 
Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.